Dog breed Saint Bernard is probably the world's most famous canine, depicted, as it is in children's books with a small keg of whiskey, tied to the neck or locating and rescuing people buried under avalanches. The monks of the hospice, on the St. Bernard Pass in the Swiss Alps, bred the St. Bernard specifically for finding travelers, who had lost their way. The first report we have of these dogs rescuing people from an avalanche is from the year 1786. The dogs were originally short-haired because snow sticks to long fur in clumps. In the 19th century, the St. Bernard was brought to England, where it became all the rage. Commercially minded breeders exploited its popularity, upping the price in breeding ever larger and heavier dogs, to the point where some of the animals could hardly manage a normal walk anymore. Using them for the rescue work would be inconceivable. St. Bernard's are basically obedient, good-natured, and very loyal dogs, as well as intelligent and courageous. Some individuals have an outgoing personality, but other are very introverted. The St. Bernard needs close contact with people and daily exercise. Simply placing it in a kennel or run will not do. This dog is eager to please its master and consequently responds well to training, as long as it is treated with respect and patience. A male stands a minimum 27.5 inches at the shoulder, females will be smaller and more delicately built. The huge head features a wrinkled brow, a short muzzle, and dark eyes, combining to give saints the intelligent, friendly expression that was such a welcome sight to stranded alpine travelers. Be sure to buy a Saint Bernard from a reputable breeder, otherwise, you may end up with a domineering and aggressive or timid dog which, given the huge size of the breed, could have disastrous consequences. Subscribe to our channel if you liked our story about St. Bernard dog breed. Write comments. Take care of yourself and your pets. All the best and see you soon.